Alrighty guys, this is my sort of short review off of the cabin tent by Quickset. Um, I just purchased this tent and uh, I actually sold my Gazelle T4 Plus tent to purchase this tent. Um, I have the Pavilion and the Excursion from Clam Canopies or Quickset. And um, I actually purchased the T4 Plus prior to them releasing this tent so i was pretty bummed once i uh, saw that they released their version of the uh, cabin tent so um about after about a year i decided to sell my gazelle and purchase this tent so uh, i have not yet taken it out to go camping but uh, i wanted to show you all a uh not even a review just kind of just a quick rundown of this tent because uh, I haven't found any reviews on it just yet, but um, I wanted to help out if anyone was kind of contemplating purchasing this tent. Um, so yeah, so here's the tent. Uh, unfortunately, the floor did not come installed. You have to open the flooring up and then go ahead and lifting that little Velcro strap and do it all, install it all yourself which was a little annoying, but um, yeah, so that's one thing you have to plan on doing. And I don't know, I, I did open the floor up, but I did not leave the flooring, well, I didn't attach the flooring to the Velcro, so I don't really know how well it'll, it will actually uh, stay together. But um, that's what I did like about the Gazelle T4 Plus was that the flooring was already installed and Velcroed and there was no like tedious work to it. So, and I didn't have all the time in the world to do this little short review, if you want to call that. Uh, I don't have any of the specs. I looked them all up and did my research before selling my T4 Plus and purchasing this tent. So, um, everything's online. Uh, Amazon does a good job. And of course, Quickset, Clam, they have all that on their website. Um, I was hoping this tent was actually going to be maybe the same size as my excursion, but uh, unfortunately it's not. It's a tad bit smaller, but um, it's not as bulky and huge as the excursion. The excursion is ginormous. It weighs like, I think, 55 pounds or something. This one supposedly weighs 5 pounds, so I don't really know where the, pre the weight difference is. But um, I was hoping more in height and in uh, width, but uh, anyway... The inner diameter is definitely bigger than the Gazelle T4 Plus, but uh, there's no pockets, which was a um, not a deal breaker, but definitely um, it's not going to be fun having to figure out how you're going to leave your pocket knife or flashlights just in a pocket that's dangling from a wall. So um, anyway, uh, it did come with a rain fly that you can install on top. Um, my one complaint there is the uh, the hooks that attach to the actual tent are like on an, an elastic bungee. And uh, sorry, that was my clock letting me know it's one in the morning. But anyways, the uh, rain fly is uh, only being held on by a little bungee, which is uh, definitely not going to be strong enough to hold up against the winds where I'm going at the least. Uh, it doesn't rain a whole lot there. But um, the winds do get very aggressive, and they're around like 25 miles per hour sometimes. And that is the worst time to be camping, of course, in windy conditions. But anyway, camping in general is fun, even if it's bad, I guess. So just expect the worst and <laughs> pray for the best. But um, yeah, so here's the inside of the tent. So, uh, again, I'm not really going into details. I just wanted to upload something so someone can hopefully benefit from this video. Of course, everyone's probably going to be giving me thumbs downs for not putting all this effort into editing, which I really don't care to put into because I'm just trying to help you out that brought you to this video. So, um, if you find it useful, great. Give it a like. If not, um, hopefully you can buy one and do a better job. But uh, not in a mean way. But um, yeah, I just have no time to edit. I wish I can give you a fancy review. That'd be amazing. But uh, 
Maybe if I get more into videos and people give me positive feedback, maybe one day I can do it. But um, I'll try and upload a um, a review sort of usage of this tent, maybe in my backyard, since I don't really know when I'll be able to get out and use it, since I just went camping and all the reservations are gone already because everyone's so desperate to get out during all this craziness. But, um, yes, maybe I'll do a comparison video of, uh, the excursion and the cabin tent or the pavilion. No clue, but, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I posted some photos at the very end so you can kind of see them together and, Sorry, not together, just see the cabin tent. But, um, yeah, I'll try and get the uh, the video out with, like, maybe the air mattresses inside so you can compare what uh, what to expect if you decide to purchase this tent. But um, beyond that, I'm pretty much done. Sorry, I'm kind of choppy. I didn't really write anything down or subjects. But um, here's the tent. Thanks.